Hello, I'm Michael Ike, and welcome back to Stasis. I said in the last one, or at least uh, Miscellaneous Monday's video, that we'll be playing more of this. In uh, that video, we found out that this guy has a wife and children, child that we're also put in Stasis. And uh, that from the computer outside that he was picked up by the ship. And that the ship is making clones. So we just woke up as stasis. Attention. Due to the threat of external contamination, a security lockdown is in order. Please meet at your closest administration office for further instructions. Hmm, interesting. And so back in that uh, stasis bay over here, uh, what's this place? I think I, go right, I can go right through here. I keep expecting to see shadows go past here. So like I was saying, in the stasis bay, there's a bunch of dead people. Also in stasis. Is anyone there? Mm, if I was on a spaceship, and it kind of looked like, reminded me of aliens, or dead space, I don't think I'd be yelling. Is that blood? Who knows? Alrighty, so we're gonna get right into things with this heavy loader, no doubt. Let's go look at this terminal. Information terminal reads code level lockdowns. I'm probably not gonna be able to use that. Security lockdown? Must be why there's nobody here. Maybe they were evacuated. Hmm. Evacuated because of what? That's the question you gotta ask. Let's take a look at this thing. With a fine layer of dust and leaking oil underneath, the loader appears to be no That's not gonna work. unused for a long time. No power. Okay. This thing is locked. So let's go in here. Oh, you, you can see it from it there. I was wondering why you can see it. Something sounds squishy. Hey, you. Empty. I just... Times, what the hell is everyone? To be Brought to you by Kane Health and Safety. What the heck was that? Some kind of... Advertisement? Okay, that's not creepy at all. The dead tree stands here in a corner of the room. Dried leaves surrounding its base. Let's see if we can do anything with that. Who needs sleep? Damn right. This. Oh, I can pick this up, apparently. Emergency glass box. In case of emergency. Well, this is definitely an emergency. What's in there? Uh, a note inside the empty emergency box reads, Due to budget cuts, the fire axe has been replaced with this... Replaced with this <laughs> note. Have a nice day. Damn budget cuts. What the heck is making that noise? Shut up! Operator's chair. Ooh, a min computer. Can I pick up? What's going on with this seating? Alrighty, so I can move my computer closer to me, so just wait a second. Or my monitor. This is reminding me more and more of Bioshock. Uh, I mean, like the first game. Kane Corporation, Administration Terminal. Robert Freely, General, General Administration Officer. Security Systems. Security told us 14 days ago that they'd be rewiring the lockdown systems. So for two weeks, we've had to deal with random system shutdowns. Two days ago, I wish that voice was shut up, Peters was locked in the bathroom while it flooded and we only got him out this morning. I'm just thankful this didn't happen last Tuesday when hydroponics had a screw up with the poison mushrooms or we would have been painting the walls of the elevator in transit to the crew level bathrooms. What? Or we would have been painting the walls. Okay. We'll probably find that and find out what happened there. 
Maintenance was down here for the final rewiring of the lockdown systems. It's all working except for except they cross wires with the central product storage systems. Every single time a leak is reported due to storage tanks, the system resets instead of auto sealing the leak. There's nothing we can we can't deal with in the short term. I know it's going to take forever to get them back down here to fix this. Okay, new doctor complaint. The new doctor in charge of cracking pause as complaining about the surgical bot. Something about the tool selection. I told him just to log a complaint with maintenance like the rest of us and hope something happens. He was not impressed. Nope. Nope. That's scary as hell. Surgical robot. <laughs> something is doing something bad. New personal requests. Personnel requests. I don't know if you guys uh, played Fallout 3, but there's a surgical bot that kind of went on a Rampage, I think. No, well, not a rampage, but he did some surgery that some guy didn't want, at least, and it wasn't pretty. I spoke to Sarah Salvador, a nurse in product stories, about getting in some new personnel to help with the opening of new stasis pods. The last nurse left due to emotional stress. I guess she had a breakdown when they cracked the pod and there was a kid inside. Oh boy. Uh, notifications to all general crew members. Just a note to remind all crew that the lockdown system is still connected to the storage tanks. If the system locks down, you can falsify a leak and it will reset. Looks like I'm going to be needing that. Bathrooms. The bathrooms are now in working order. Peters will be back on duty in four shift rotations. Okay. Product storage security. Holy crap, there's a lot in here. What? What the fuck? It's all that noise in the background. What? Product storage bag? Can I lock that? No. Call maintenance. Yeah. Let's get maintenance in here. So maintenance door is unlocked now. Uh, how do I get out of this? Is it? I want to see what up here is going on with the seating. It looks like I can pick something up. Oh. You can just sit down. And cry. <laughs> get up, man. That is terrible logic, but I'm going to let you go with that. Terrible, terrible logic. Oh, there's something over here going on. This chair is fixed position facing... Can I get over there? No. Okay, we'll see what we unlocked. It's probably this door back here. I guess it got to be this door back here. I can't go anywhere else. Oh, this is the bathroom. How did I get in here then? A middle sink. A middle sink. Uh, drained by drip. Drip, drip of blood. Oh, great. Stained by a drip, drip, drip of blood. A standard middle sink. Caked in soap and dirt. Let's use the toilet. This is disgusting. Yep, so as a general rule of point and click adventure games goes steal everything does not log down a surprisingly clean toilet bowl flushing won't clean this metal toilet bowl of the rust that has accumulated over the years all right so we have a wet towel i don't know what we're going to do with a wet towel oopsie Oh, I can pick up a glass shard. A knife-like shard sits among a piece of shard glass. Oh, was I supposed to use a towel to pick that up? I have it now. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Oh, there's a radio here. Let's try.
try to radio. A radio is set to auto scan, picking up various various transmissions. So that's what's making all that noise. It's right here. That's how you get out. That door wasn't exactly obvious. So let's uh go in here now that it's unlocked. Warning. Air filtration system offline. Toxicity increasing to dangerous level. Oh boy. Let's change the pressure gauge then. Hmm. A large red meal, wheel might have a chance of turning it if you give it what? A large red wheel might have a chance of turning it if you give it your all. Come on, old man. There you go. Okay, that was weird. I didn't expect to have to click on that three times. <laughs> yep. So, uh, usual adventure game logic is that you click on it once and you can't do anything with it. You had to wait. Grab it. PDA. Andrew Bryan, engineer level. Andrew, here is about uh, 6 a.m. I'm absolutely exhausted. Is this thing long? Holy crap, it's long. Andrew, here is about 6 a.m. Uh, I'm exhausted, so this is the most advanced scientific research uh, ship in existence, huh? Bullshit. I've been here for three months and now I know why the previous guy quit. Uh, leisure equipment, steam vents, circuit breakers, everything has at least one serious design flaw. Not only are the coolant systems capable of failing, they're capable of at least four different types of faults. And I can only spot two of them in advance. This shit's been running for 50 years and nobody bothers to do any upgrades. Bottom line, the, ca the casings are shoddy and they're going to need months of work to make them 100% safe. I've also pulled a muscle in my shoulder trying to rotate the pressure release valve. The bastard needs to be turned three goddamn times. Well, he knows all about that. Simmons volunteered to be a research subject. Uh, Simmons volunteered to be a research subject and something has been off with him since he got stuck, it was since he got back from the labs. I don't want to report him to security, but I'll keep an eye on him. Fucking research departments. Can't they use monkeys like everyone else? So this has turned out to be a little bit bioshocky, I suppose. Uh, C-Sec went, sent me down to the ass end of the ship to fix the fluid storage vats. Again. Not too long ago, other vats malfunctioned and started praying that, spraying that acidic shit all over the place. What's that? The bulk is locked down and the entire maintenance crew dissolved. Oh, great. <laughs> they only found teeth. I'm not going home in a jar, so I've killed the security system lockdown. If that thing so much as pisses that acid in my direction, the system will reset all the security procedures. Safety first. You're damn right, man. So, but it looks like he didn't actually come back. So, <laughs> he might have been dissolved too. The empty bar-coated crates have been stacked untidily against the wall. Okay. More crates, crates, crates. System failure screen. The, the, main, the monitoring screen reads, System failure. Please contact A. Brian, engineer level one. Well, my friend, that's not going to happen. The sound of a bubbling fluid resonates inside the huge fluid storage tanks. Major screen, system failure, please contact, yeah, same thing again, system failure. 
So apparently if I puncture these, I had to puncture them somehow. Can I just stab it with glass? <laughs> That's just crazy. Although... I mean, although... Uh... <laughs> said it was crazy but then he said although although what try it again that's just crazy uh, although mm, no crazy that's just crazy although This one here won't work. Robotic surgeon. Oh, it's lit up now. Okay, yeah. I didn't think it lit up before. Oh, let's see what we could do with this. Uh, let's read it first. Uh, product piece or Dr. E. Essel's procedure cranial bones extraction for Sigma Labs. Last surgery uh, completed before spec op surgery lockdown. Product expired during surgery, but bones extraction was successful. The neural drill is stuck again. Every time I try to change it, the arm detracts. Please get maintenance down to fix it. Okay, that's what they were talking about. See, excess surgery prep. Uh, product spinal tagging. High speed neural drill. What's all this? Please sur uh, choose surgical requirements below to extend arm and refit tool. Okay. Can I do that? Is that going to kill me somehow? The arm of the automatic robotic surgeon is extended. The mechanism that holds the neural drill in place is unlocked and open. Okay. Can I take that? Oh, that's what she said. Every time she tries to take it, it uh, contracts. Okay. So let's do something about that. Skin harvesting. And if I touch it, it retracts, right? Skin everything. What a weird thing to be doing. Skin harvesting. Organ extraction. Ice P drill. Great. Just great. Product spinal tagging. That sounds absolutely horrible. Every single one of them. So let's uh, stuff a wet towel in there. I think that will just break it. <laughs> Robotic surgeon arm. Anything else I could... Uh, Oh, what if I turn off the power now? Yeah. Now is it uh, stuck retracted? Yeah. Haha. <laughs> Smarter than the average bear. That just took me like an half hour to figure out. Now let's take this thing. Got it. It's a drill type thing. So let's go make a hole in something or other. <laughs> Can I drill into this now? Yes, I can. Awesome. Attention. System rebooted. Air scrubbers activated. Awesome. So now the system should be uh, rebooted. Rebooted monitoring system is slowly cycling and checking each subsystem. Awesome. So that door should be unlocked now. Yeah. So I'm going to save it before something bad happens and I die. 
save game and let's get going drilling I should have went with my first instincts but I thought there were a place up there it's called product storage this is it called product storage yeah that's unlocked that's unlocked before I go uh, to products I'm gonna go up here and see if this thing got unlocked no it's still broken okay so I guess we're going up in the freight elevator what why did my thing come up <laughs> I was accidentally clicked on it the towel came up there for a second yeah let's go in I'm gonna call it here we made some progress today uh, we found a drill we found a glass bit we managed to um, reboot the security system and in the next one we'll figure out where the elevator will take us so hope you enjoyed it and I hope you catch me in the next one goodbye <laughs>